What I'd like to show is how to screen share with a tutor on Wiseand. Okay, make sure that you're in Google Chrome. Okay, if you don't have Google Chrome, just type in Google Chrome and you can go here and you can download it for free. Okay, so you download Chrome and then go ahead and open it. So I'm in Google Chrome right now and I can see it's, it's this icon. And when I'm in Chrome, I'm gonna just type in yeah, Google Chrome Store. Okay, and if I go into this, the Google Chrome Store, I can search the store. And I'm gonna type in Wizand. And when I go here, I'm gonna make sure that I download Wizand screen sharing, and I'm gonna to add to Chrome. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add to Chrome, and I'm gonna say add extension. And I can see that it's been added to Chrome here. And I can see it up here. So if I click on this thing, I can see that yes, screen sharing is enabled. So if you're having trouble with screen sharing, make sure that you enable the Wizant screen sharing app on Google Chrome. And then every time that you use um, Wizant, go ahead and use Google Chrome and it should all work properly. Uh, if you're logged into your account, and you're in messages, maybe you're communicating with your tutor. And if they said, hey, I started a session, go ahead and connect, what you're gonna do is you can click on the dashboard at the top here, and you can see join my online lesson, okay? If you have multiple tutors, you can also go down here and you can choose join online lesson. So I'm gonna, as a tutor, I'm gonna set up a lesson and we're gonna look at what that looks like, okay? So if you go right here and go to join online lesson, now it's gonna say, if you have a camera, you might see yourself here. Um, but if you don't have a camera, that's okay. It'll just say your camera's off and you can see that right here, your audio settings. And if you have a question, you can click on this button here and it'll help you through uh, the audio and video settings. But when you're talking, you wanna make sure that you see this green bar going up and down to make sure that your audio is working. If you're ready, you can go to continue. And I'll just say continue without camera. And, and there, there it is. is. You can see the, the tutor. tutor. So I'm just gonna mute that so I don't so get I don't the double, get the double feedback. feedback. And, and hold on, I'm hold gonna delete it here. Okay, so now we can see that you can see the tutor and the tutor might do this. The tutor might share their screen. So if they share the screen, it's going to look like this and you'll be able to see their screen. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Well, if they mute, you know, if they go like this and if they, um, minimize this, you can start to see everything that they're doing. Okay. And I feel like that's really the most helpful, um, thing. And as you, as a student, you can click here. And if you need to share your screen, you can go here and share screen. And if you have two monitors, you can choose which screen. And I would encourage you to choose entire screen and then go to share, okay? Now the tutor can see what you're doing and you can see what the tutor is doing. So if I go to full video again, now I'm seeing my tutor's screen and I can see that the tutor's on a Mac, okay? And I'm on Windows, but I feel like I can see their screen and I can see it full screen and they can see your screen full screen. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. I know it's a little bit confusing to get started, but this ability to kind of share screens and I should mention that when you're sharing screen, you're only sharing uh, what you're seeing. The, the, uh, the tutor does not have control of your computer and you don't have control on the tutor's computer. Um, if you want that kind of functionality, uh, there's programs like Skype and, and some different things that you're allowed to do that. But through Wiseant, I don't believe you can. So hopefully that was helpful to connect. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below.